Hi guys! I haven't done a video in a few months now. Um, haven't really had the time or the energy or the motivation or until now where there's not much time left and I decided I must record something. Well, as you can see, I am now on the last week of pregnancy. Oops. Let me put it up straight in the back. Um, people say that I look small, but the doctor says it's fine. 39 weeks and measuring alright. Um, I won't know when the baby's gonna come. I can try to guess. I can try and, um, you know, count things. I've tried everything, well, in terms of guessing anyway, I haven't tried doing anything yet. Um, so I've tried, you know, predicting maybe it'll be early because my mum was early, my mother in law was early, and uh, also all well, the dates were lined up pretty well. Um, yeah, I don't know, and this baby's really active, he's kicking all the time. Um, especially at night, it kicks at around 11 to 1. That's the most active time of the day. Um, yeah, just ignore my bird out there, he just wants attention, which I probably won't be able to give to him after the baby's here. Probably have to put them at my parents' house, something like that. Anyway, this is my app that I use. Baby Center app. It's a bit bright there. But you can see that watermelon. 39 weeks. Yeah. And it's a bit um, back to front there. It's dark now. Ooh. Yeah. Um, as a first time mom to be, I have no idea what to expect. I mean, I have some idea from everyone, people who tell me things, um, hard babies, easy babies, um, hard labours, easy labours, fast labours, um, you know, quick labours, home labours, water labours, C-section, medical intervention, like everything, it's like heard everything. Um, what I'm really glad is I've joined this mother's group on Facebook. It's actually um, a group of girls or ladies who are um, having their child in the same month as me. So that's been really good. It's been really encouraging to just hear about their stories and their lives and what they've done. And, um, people who are first time or second time or fourth time, you know, and they live around, you know, Australia. So we're all we're all from Australia sort of share about our lives and I guess nowadays I mean this month has been pretty crazy obviously because most people had their child or most people had them um, you know they would be freaking out about their symptoms or they would um, um, read into everything and also they would also ask advice um, of you know the group they'd be like uh you know um what should I do? Should I, what should I pack for hospital? Or, um, Tim, I, oh, I just had some water leaking or something. <laughs> um, they could also ask about, like, oh, what prams to use? Or should I, how should I breastfeed? Um, what clothes? Or where to buy them? Or like, just anything. Like, people just post everything and anything. And it's really, um, I guess it's good to have a place to do that. Because um, it means that um, although you do stress each other out sometimes, it, it means that um, you have people who sort of understand what you're going through at, around the same stage, and and, um, and they also like are willing to listen because and they're willing to share and they're willing to you know um, answer each other's questions. And, um, yeah, it's been really 
really good because then I also don't have to spam Facebook and like complain to Facebook or anything. Like I'm a bit of a oversharer at times and I've really tried over the years to not do it. But um, uh, like I also need like an out outlet kind of thing. So that's where um, the Facebook. I'll document anything after this. I mean, I have sort of the idea of doing it. I thought maybe I could uh, record, you know, when I'm really tired or, or like all these insights I learn. But I don't know how much time I'll have. Or, I mean, hopefully I'll have them some kind of time. And I do want to share, you know, my experiences. Um, yeah, just to record it myself for myself as well. Once in a lifetime thing, right? I mean, you do it once, and then later, I mean, you do it for the first time once. See? <laughs> um, yeah. Labor. What about labor? Well, um, what I'm going to do is sort of take it as it comes. Um, sort of just learn everything um, as much as I can, and try not to freak out, and just to trust that the doctors will do what they can, and trust that God will bring. Also, um, just to sort of leave options open for in case I need things. So, as, I mean, ideally, a natural label is a good thing, but if I really can't deal with the pain and if it goes for too long, if it's um, distressing for me or the baby, or I mean, I'm not very good at pain tolerance and I have anxiety issues at times, and even now <laughs> I'm thinking about it and I feel. <sighs> <laughs> need to calm down. Yeah. Um, need to breathe. Need to learn how to breathe. <sighs> Breathing exercises are good. Um, I've been reading some of this book called Birth Skills by Juju Sudin, and it's got lots of really interesting ideas and skills that I want to use. Um, I think the ones that might work is the movement ones, the breathing ones. Maybe the vocalizing ones, but I really don't know until I get there. Um, I mean, when I get the Braxton Hicks, it kind of like does take the breath out of me and it makes me like a little bit anxious at times. And I just need to oh, calm down. <laughs> um, yeah, it's getting harder to breathe sometimes because the baby's still pushed up. He's not really engaged yet, he's sort of gone down a little bit. But um, we'll see how it goes in the next few days. And, um, um, I'll see if I can update later and tell you how it goes. Maybe I'll just talk about the birth story, I don't know. Um, some people like to listen to it and actually, as a first time mum, I really enjoy listening to all, all, if not both, I mean, if not most of the stories on my mummy um, group on Facebook. Um, even the like, you know, more intense and scary ones, but like, um, because they're, they're positive at the end, there's hope, sort of. So even if they go through a lot, um, it's good to know how they went through it and, and sort of prepare myself mentally that I could possibly go through those things too. And it's still okay, still managed to come out right. Um, but then of course, even if um, in the end the baby's fine, the mom's fine, later on there could still be other problems and it's more like just to, just to see how things go and, and just keep like um, keeping an eye on the child, keeping an eye on yourself, going to the doctors when you need to and um, just knowing what to do, um, what not to do or just trying out things your way like winging it or um, I think one thing that I'll really struggle with um, is uh, okay well, I, I love sleeping um, so sleeping is going to be hard definitely but I can try really hard to you know work out cycles and sleep and wake up when the baby wakes um, another thing that's hard is parents. I <laughs> struggle with parents a lot. Um, they really are overprotective at the moment. They seem to want to do everything or want to like help out with everything. 
um, in ways that um, we might not want, which are like stuff like they want to do their really traditional methods. Um, I don't know if people know, or oh, I know probably um, only Asians will know, and maybe Westerners uh, have some idea if they've heard from an Asian. Um, but there's this thing called um, one month confinement where you can't do a lot of things but at the same time everything's done for you so it's nice in that sense but you know there's so many restrictions so I'm still gonna um, have to sort of negotiate that with my parents and my in-laws. Um, the main big thing about confinement is you can't go out, you can't see anyone for a whole month um, and the, there's one other one which is really traditional and um, a little bit unhygienic and that's um, no showering or bathing or touching water for a whole month um, unless it's got ginger in it and you're sort of using it to wipe yourself or something like that so that's one thing I really really don't want to do I mean I might want to use some ginger water but I do want to have a shower um, and then there's all these foods that you eat um, they consist of ginger as well vinegar rice wine and lots and lots of chicken and eggs like they think that eggs and chicken are somehow really good for you um, I hope I'll be able to eat more of a variety of things because I know by reading um, all these um, articles and all these, all these um, I mean even my app tells me that um, I should um, eat a variety of foods so that my baby gets um, different you know tastes of different things hopefully then he won't be a picky eater later on and it means that he gets exposed to a lot of things um, and then I can also tell whether he's allergic to it or not because then it's like oh if I drink milk and then he gets diarrhea then I'm like oh, okay I know or if I have like fish and, or, and then he gets stomach upset or whatever you know then that kind of helps um yeah <laughs> I think I talked for like 12 minutes non-stop. Oh. Um, yeah. <sighs> Even talking about it makes me really agitated. Um, yeah, I really need to have all the energy I can to look after this baby and to go into labour because labour is going to be hard. Um, it's natural. It's natural, but it's hard. I just have to know that. Um, but I can also be reassured that it's a natural thing that the body sort of, um, your body sort of does. You know, you're, you're made for it. You're made to do it. Um, but the Bible does say it's painful. You have pain in childbearing, pain in childbirth. But luckily, nowadays, we have medicine, which helps a bit. It helps take the edge off, it might help numb it, but of course there's also consequences later on. There could be like more tears, more interventions and stuff. So it's like I have to balance the risks and benefits and stuff. Um, yeah, don't know what will happen, but <laughs> I'll try to update you later. Um, anyway, thank you for listening. <laughs> uh, I guess no singing today because I'm out of breath. <laughs> I don't know if I can sing, but um, one of the songs that really uh, sort of reflect this pregnancy is um, the actually Adele songs. There's two of them. So one of them is I, I did sing it the first time when I recorded the 20 week video, the hello, hello from the other side, because it's like the baby's saying hello and I'm saying hello from the other side. And the other one is um, rolling the jeep because he moves so much. He rolls around. He kicks me. He actually pushes his um, ribs really hard. I mean, his legs really hard against my ribs, and I can't sleep at night. And then he pushes my back as well. And he pushes. He just pushes everywhere. <laughs> I think it's also because I'm really um, skinny. Uh, I'm a skinny person, so I think when I'm skinny. I can feel everything. Oh yes, and I also got a jawbone. This has helped um, record how I sleep, which is not very well at the moment. And 
also all the foods that I've been eating, which uh, have been taking too much sodium, so that's not very good. <laughs> I need to eat more fruit and vegetables and drink lots of water. Anyway, I think you've heard enough from me. <laughs> so, I'll see you sometime in the future. Bye.